Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Voidis to Baron Light. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. No. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Brother! It's been looking! I think these moments over a few Practical choice. <laughs> ah, Must be someone around here worth talking to. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. 
Afraid there's no fixing you. You just gonna stand there? If you slow down, I'll catch you up. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I've cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy back up. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the Daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. A harness for a bar judge. Keep you going on your travels. 
back then. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. About that brew. Any tribe can enjoy it. Well, come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall to come all this way enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest to here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun-crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for... what, exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Who is this Tolan Cleanbroker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolan works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolan scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvin has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the worker since the day he rolled into town. About that, I think the bristlebacks came out of Olven's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge, grab my ear if you nail it down. 
So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's got to be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. I should have a word with him Place first. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just nuts! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba-boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. 
namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. Yeah, you! <laughs> there you are! Ale's on me, in honor of the huntress that got us back to work. Some are afraid to be so close to the Forbidden West. Take it easy today, okay? 